All right, Sean Wong, Sean Wong. Call him like you know. You have a passion, you have a passion, you have a passion. Devil not said the elves and the apostles are great millstone who we will. Sean Wong to the whole for let that are scattered abroad. All right. To you brothers out there pushing this truth with our righteousness and sincerity. And to the aqua, to the assistants that are listening and learning to you, I say Sean Wong. This is the brother Kabari Yash coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power. You have a passion, you have Low will to edify and defeat the lambs. You have a passion, you have Through the spirit of Kaku Dash, I praise the spirit and find the scripture to the point. All right. And this is from EntireHeadlines.org, man. It says, WHO chief warns the world must prepare for even deadlier path pathogen than, you can see the word, I'm not going to read that. All right, then the CD19, man. So these devils, <laughs> they're about to bring another pandemic, man. All right. So these devils, they are already telling you, prepare for something even deadlier, man. Okay, and let's get a quick scripture. All right, let's get a scripture. And I'm gonna try not to make this too long, man. All right, Isaiah 29 and verse 15. Woe unto them that see thee to hide their counsel from the Lord Yahweh and shine their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us and who knoweth us? So these devils think that, hey, the Lord Yahweh and Yahweh don't see them. All right. The glory how about she outside revealing all things to his men, man. The servants, the prophets, man. Like he tells you in Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord will do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, okay? So all things are being revealed through the spirit of power. How about she outside? And these devils are being revealed, man. Their plans are being revealed. So they're about to come with something even more deadlier than the, you know, the CD19, man. Okay? So let's read a little bit of this. It says the head of the World Health Organization warned Monday the world must prepare for the next global pandemic, warning that the consequences could be even deadlier than the than the future. In the future, okay, doctor. Hold on, let me put this on. Uh, do not disturb. All right, there we go. All right, so these devils are telling you their plans before it happens, man. All right. So these devils are basically telling you what's going to happen before it happens, man. All right? Peace and safety. All right? And, hey, they got rid of this whole the whole C19 thing, man, and told you that that's over with. So these devils are about to come with something else. All right? Let's get that scripture. Peace and safety, man. Okay? <laughs> First Thessalonians 5 and... Mm, I'm starting verse 1. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the glory, how about she shall shy, so cometh as a thief in the night. Verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, all right, these people think that, oh, the, the, the so-called the thing is over with, man. But hey, they already telling you the other plans, man. They're about to come with something even more deadlier that's going to put more people out of work, more lockdowns, more draconian measures. And it's already, I did a lesson on it, I think, last month or two months ago that uh, they, hey, they passed the law. They say if, if the next pandemic happens, the WHO is going to take over, man. Okay? They're going to take over. So, hey, so when the next pandemic happens, man, hey, <laughs> The president is going to turn the country over to the WHO. And that's not going to end well, man. All right. First Thessalonians 5 and verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as to veil upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. So, hey, these the people are going to be caught off of guard. Caught off guard again, man. Okay. So, hey, these devils are already telling you their plans, man. All right. Oh, let me get another scripture. Let's start this one. Hold on. Let me get this one. Uh, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Okay? Because the Lord is elect. We ain't ignorant of Esau's devices, man. Okay? 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, man. We're not ignorant of this devil's devices, man. We see what's coming. We see the writing on the wall. So Esau is going to make his moves, man. Okay? So, hey. This whole CD thing, that didn't work. All right, the C19, that didn't work on the people. 
So this one, and, he, and already your boy Kill Gates, he already said that this next one is going to get everybody's attention. So there you go. So we not ignorant of Esau's devices, man. These devil's devices, their schemes, their plans. All right. Let's read this again. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Okay. His schemes. <clears throat> Let's read a little bit more. It says the threat of another V emerging that causes new surges of diseases and death remains. The threat of another path pathogen emerging with even deadlier potential remains. WHO Director Dr. General Dr. T Ted Pedros Amarhan, whatever his name is, I ain't trying to guess that name. She told a meeting, told a meeting of World Health Assembly in Geneva, noting that pandemics are far from the only threat we face. All right, this guy right here stressed that the international community cannot kick this can down the road if we don't. So if we do not make the changes that must be made, then who will? And if we do not make them now, then when? When the next pandemic comes knocking, and it will, <laughs> we must be ready to answer device, dev, decisively, collectively, and inadequately, he stressed. So, hey, we already know how they're going to do that, man. All right? Y'all already know how they gonna do that. Alright. Let's see. I'm not gonna read all of this. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I mean, I'll put the rest in the description box, man. But there you go, man. These devils are already warning you of another pandemic, man. Alright? Says you must prepare for another deadly one. And it's gonna be deadlier than... The CD19, man. All right. So, hey. These devils are already telling you their plans, man. Okay. Let's go to Proverbs 22 and verse 3. All right. Proverbs 22 and verse 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. All right. These people ain't looking to what's coming, man. All right. And all this is going to be done through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Hashem at the end of the day, man. All right. The Lord Yahweh Hashem is putting the spirit on these devils to make their moves, man. All right. Because Esau is going to come down with great wrath because he knows that he had but a short time. And we're hiding ourselves in the spirit of the power of Yahweh Hashem Okay. All right. The Lord's elect. Let's go to uh, Revelation 12 and 12. Because these devils, they know their time is almost up. Okay. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. These devils know that their time is just about up, man. So, hey, they got to, to do this one. All right, this one's going to be real this time, man. This one's really going to be killing people, man. Okay, so, hey, let these devils do what they got to do, man. Let it, hey, hey, let them bring it, man. Who gives a shit? We don't care anymore, man. We ready for these devils to come with the come, man. All right? Come on with the come on, man. What you waiting for? All right? <laughs> we don't care. But we all know this is being done through the sparing and power of Yahweh Bashmi Shai. Okay? And the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Shai is going to protect his elect, man. Okay? This is 2 Ezra chapter 15, verse 11. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a scratched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Okay? So all these plagues that are going to come up on Babylon, man. Okay? And it's all going to be done through him, man. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shem Yahshai. The Lord Yahweh Shem Yahshai is using these devils, man. So, hey, to issue out judgment and issue out punishment, man. All right? Especially upon two-thirds of our people, man. So, hey, when this next pandemic hits, man, hey, <laughs> this is going to be the big one. And, hey, a lot of people are not going to like it, man. All right? And, hey, a lot of death is going to be happening. More draconian measures, man. You name it. 
Verse 12, Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that your house shall bring upon it. Okay? Let's skip down. Because, hey, this is, you know, also this next pandemic is going to bring forth the MOTB, man. All right? Which is the C hip, man. Okay? Second Israel chapter 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their discretion draw nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in hands. These people, all right, hey, these people not going to go for it, man, all right? These people are going to, hey, go in the streets, and they're going to fight back against their government and what they're trying to do, okay? Verse 16, for there should be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power, Okay? When these people realize that the Constitution is dead and these people ain't got no more freedoms, no more rights, all right? When that happens, <laughs> these people are going to take to the streets and they're going to fight back, okay? Chaos is coming, man, all right? We know it's coming, all right? Verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, all right? Martial law, checkpoints, lockdowns, city lockdowns, state lockdowns, man. Hey, all that is coming. And the men of the Lord are warning you, Israelites, man, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, man, that all these things are coming. Okay? So take heed before it's too late. Verse 18, For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Verse 19, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Okay? All right, so hey, the Lord, how about she outside? He's about to bring a whole lot of judgment, man. And he's already bringing it, okay? Let's get this. Second Israel chapter 15, verse 49. I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence to waste thy house with destruction and death. That's what's coming to Babylon, the great America, and throughout the four corners of the earth, man. And it's all, and hey, all of this is going to lead to the MOTB, which is the C hit, man, okay? Chaos, World War Three, you name it, man. Okay, these people ain't gonna go for this, man. Being <laughs> locked down and all that shit again, man. Okay, these people ain't gonna go for it. All right. So hey, we're close, man. Let's get another scripture and I'm gonna wrap it up. I ain't intend for this lesson to be long, man. Matthew twenty-four and let's see. I'm going to read verse 7, okay? Matthew chapter 24 and verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Verse 8, all these are the beginning of sorrows. So we're about to enter into the beginning of sorrows, man. Okay? Jacob's trouble. All hell breaking loose, man. Okay? Let's get down to verse 21. Matthew 24 and verse 21. For then should be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor nor ever shall be. Verse 22, And that said, Those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect say, Those days shall be shortened. These days are flying by fast, man. So, hey, we almost out of here, okay? Let's get another one, and I'm going to close it out. Let's go here. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mournings. The beginning of famine and great death. That's what's coming to Babylon and great America. Great death. Famines, great sorrows, great mournings, death, destruction. Okay? And throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Okay? <clears throat> the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Okay? Evils are multiplying, man. Okay. Verse 19. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. To correct you, Israelites, man. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Verse 21. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth. Sword, famine, and great confusion. All right. Evils are multiplying. These devils are <coughs> making plans, doing all this stuff, man. Evils are multiplying behind the scenes. 
And you Israelites are just walking about your business, ain't paying attention, not taking heed, man. And a lot of you going to be caught off guard, man. All right? Like we read in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3. Let's go back and read that again, then I'm going to close it out there, man. Okay? 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3. But when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction coming upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. I'm going to read verse 4. Let's read it all the way down to verse 8, then I'm going to close it out. All right? But ye, brethren, are not in darkness that that day shall overtake you as a thief. The Lord's elect, the hopeful elect, we're not in darkness, man. Okay? So the day is not going to overtake us, man. Okay? Verse 5. You are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Verse 6. There. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Continue to watch, man. All right? Be sober. Watch. All right? And that's what the men of the Lord are doing. And when we see something, we blow that trumpet. Sound the alarm, man. Okay? <clears throat> Verse 7. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. Verse 8. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet, the hope of salvation, man. So, hey, we, you know, we watching. Lockdown, y'all, Bashim, y'all, Shai, Bashim, Rakakadash. It's locky. Ugh, allergies. Locky about that. Sorry. <clears throat> All right, so, hey, we're going to continue to watch, man, and we're going to continue to pray, man, that the Lord, how about Shim, y'all, keep us from all these things, man. Okay, so with that, I'm going to end it here, man. Go win our praise. Unless it was edifying and straight to the point. All praises and glorification goes to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rekak, Wadash, Devil, Nuns, City, Elves, and the Apostles of Great Millstone, who well. Sean Wan to the hopeful neck. Till next time, I say Sean Wan. And why a Baba Ball? Sean Wan. <laughs>